thank you all so much for stopping by today so y'all if you didn't catch the live sunday we've been getting some things done in the garden i feel like I'm right on schedule. I just have to keep that momentum up for the rest of the week. But I'm gonna turn the camera around because I just said before you go in, let's try to get this project done. I know I could get it done. I just need to stop taking so many breaks, uh, which I do that very often in the garden. But I'm gonna show you what I've pulled and then what we're gonna do. We're gonna get those planted. I'll tell you about the plant. Um, just in case you missed the live. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. Okay, so I want to hone in on this area right here because I pulled up all of the petunias and all of the plants that are uh, shouldn't be there as much as I could. These petunias, they started out really nice, but they got leggy and you know, with petunias, sometimes you have trailing petunias. Sometimes you have mounding petunias. I really wanted these to be mounding. But to me, they turned out to be trailing. Now, it could be a little bit of my fault because I did not give them as much attention as they needed uh, throughout the growing season. But what I found and what we're going to replace them with, um, I'm, hope, I'm hoping it comes back. Um, this is what we're going to re replace them with right here. Um, and I call them Heather, Heathers. This is what I've always known them by. But here is their name, like a cupia or a cupia, however you want to say it. Um, I really think it's a pretty color. Now, again, I've talked to a few people about this plant um, here in the Atlanta area. Uh, a couple of ladies said theirs come back every year. So we'll just see. Now, remember I told you last season we got down to like 13 degrees. But this one, it is uh, said to be an annual on here. But if you look at the tag, the hardiness is 10 to 20. And like I always say, it can depend on a lot of things. It can depend on if you have structures around, um, if there's different shades or other things around. Now, what we have right here is shrubs that I told y'all they are gonna eventually come up. When I tell you I'm not pleased with these at all, I'm gonna show you how it looks. Uh, it's an eyesore. Some of the blooms are starting to come back. They've had a lot of spider mite damage. Um, I know that these are probably, uh, with them blooming twice a year, the Encore Azaleas, but I just, when we got here, I wanted to pull them up. But I think I'm just gonna get somebody out here before it's all over to really just pull this up. Um, but that is kind of like on down the line. I won't worry about it right now, uh, but I'm not sure what I want like in the play in its place. Only because I would love to have different blooming flowers here, but I know how my family and Chris is about the bees um, being too close to the patio. So I will do some research, see what can be possibly here. This is a, a space that gets full sun for the most part, but um, I don't know, we'll see. But we're just gonna focus on these right here. I got a total of 12. And so we're gonna try to take them all the way down. And I don't know, just based on how I'm going to space them, I don't know if they'll make it all the way around here. If they don't, I know that this daylily is eventually gonna come up as well. This used to this was here when we got here um i've had some day lilies to already bloom that i planted last year so i'm not sure why this one hasn't bloomed or what's going on with it y'all it's so many mosquitoes around here it's just it's really ridiculous um and i forgot to put on my spray but uh let me go ahead what i'm going to do is uh get the get the rest of the plants Put them up and then i'm just going to rake back uh this mulch right here and just start planting these one by one until i get to number 12. we're going to water it in i'll show you what it looks like and they get about 12 to 18 inches in height so hopefully they can cover up this bottom that you see right here so i'll just go ahead and do this i really want to get finished today y'all so I think y'all are gonna be the ones to hold me accountable. Let me go ahead and start working this area and I'll show you everything at the end.
specifically said like um, when it rains a lot they'll lay down and flatten a little bit which I'm okay with but I just like right now the blooms on it the bees like it too we had a few bees on here but I can't wait to see them grow so I'm gonna go ahead get them watered in and then if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead hit the subscribe button because I want to share with you um, once they really start growing, I, I want to give you an update of these right here. Tell you how I like them. Also show you the growth of them. Um, but I'm hoping that they will act as what you would call a tender perennial. Um, it just depends on how cold this winter will be for us here in the Atlanta area, Zone 8A. But um, they're really pretty. I want to get a close-up so y'all can see. Like... I don't know how much this camera um, you're able to see like the beauty of them but it's really a pretty purple flower so again I'm gonna get these watered in because I got a few more plants that I want to water as well that's in the container um, since they said it was gonna rain and then they switched it up on me um, so I, I, I do need to water those as well so as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead, tap the subscribe button. Make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye. <laughs>